In the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic spreading across the world and our nation, another new and dangerous issue has emerged, the critical shortage of blood products in the United States. With people across the country socially distancing and staying home, the supply of blood has dwindled, putting millions of Americans at risk. Almost 36,000 units of blood are used every day for patients with trauma, cancer, burns, sickle cell, and chronic kidney and liver disease. The American Red Cross supplies more than 40% of all blood to the people of this country and requires 13,000 daily donations to maintain its stock. But as COVID-19 has swept the nation, donation centers have shut their doors and donors have stayed inside. As of April 5th, 2020, almost 14,000 blood drives have been canceled, causing the Red Cross to lose almost 425,000 donations. There are understandably a lot of questions over whether it's safe to donate right now. The Center for Disease Control, the Food and Drug Administration, and the American Red Cross have all endorsed that donating blood in the midst of this pandemic is still safe, and that there is no evidence that coronavirus can be transmitted through blood products, as it is a respiratory virus. For anyone at home who wants to help but may still have some concerns, Madhuri Rao, one of the Red Cross's frequent donors, has just returned from donating blood and has some tips on how to stay safe. I usually donate blood every few months, but with what our country is going through with the pandemic, I naturally had a lot of apprehension about traveling outside my home and a lot of questions about the safety of donating. I decided to look at the Red Cross website before my appointment, and it said it would still be safe to donate and that extra precautions were being taken to protect donors. The staff at the donation site made me feel so at ease and made me feel like my safety was a priority while donating blood. They maintained their standard safety precautions like changing gloves often, wiping down surfaces, using sterile collection kits, and doing short health screenings. But they also implemented new protocols in light of COVID-19, such as checking my temperature outside the facility, asking me about my symptoms like fever, cough, and shortness of breath, providing appropriate social distancing of the donor beds, the waiting area, and the refreshment area, giving me drinks and snacks that were pre-packaged to decrease contamination, and providing ample hand sanitizer throughout the visit. Their health screening was also a little different, and they asked me some additional questions to check if I should donate or not, such as my travel history within the last few weeks, and if I had come into contact with anyone who tested positive for COVID-19 or was suspected to be positive. I also wanted to be safe, so there were a few things I did on my own to protect myself and the staff. While there may have been a few more steps involved in donating blood this time around, I'm so glad I was able to provide an essential health service during such a critical time. I encourage everyone, if they are able to, to make an appointment to donate blood and save a life today. Prominent public health figure Dr. Anthony Fauci has stated that donating blood is considered an essential community service. And U.S. Surgeon General Jerome Adams has stressed that social distancing does not have to mean social disengagement. Donating blood is a safe and easy way to save a life. To schedule your appointment, contact your local Red Cross agency at 1-800-RED-CROSS or go online to redcrossblood.org or sign up on the Blood Donor app.